My name is Mike, and I'd like to show you how you can set up a ticket booking option for seated maps, such as stadiums. So in my case, I've actually set up a stadium event, which is creatively named stadium event single game, right? And you can see here that there's, the, there's four ticket types. There's category A, there's category B, there's the VIP, and category C. You can see that all of them are color coded and the colors attached to them are also visible on the map. Now, when it comes to the map, uh, the color codes represent the actual ticket categories and you can also design additional graphic elements. So in my case, it's the pitch, it's the exits and entrances, it's the stairs, and there's all sorts of uh, different kind of sectors. What we have available here is an overview of the tickets um but if i press on one of the ticket section i'm actually zoomed in right and you can see here that once i hover above one of the seats i actually get information related to the price this is a vip ticket so it's a bit more expensive uh information related to the role the seat and the section in my case it's the vip section and the vip ticket once i click it it's automatically added to my checkout cart and i can select the tickets i can actually select additional tickets from other sections and if i want to see a much broader overview i can actually expand uh, the section visible uh, to view all of the details all right so i've selected and now i have all of my tickets in my bags, uh, basket so there's a lot of them right um, I actually wanna zoom out and now I can actually overview exactly which are the tickets that I've selected. As you can see, I've selected some pretty unusual type of tickets, but it gives me an overview using this lens feature of where my selected tickets are. All right, so what happens if I wanna uh, select other options, All right? So I zoom in again, I deselect these tickets, which I believe are too far away from the main ones. And we have the VIPs and category A's right now. But I have received from the event organizer a discount code, a 25% discount code, which I'm gonna apply right now. And as you can see, my discount code is applied to category A and category B, not the VIP section. So because I wanna buy uh, the tickets that are discounted at the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and select the VIPs and I'm gonna select some more category A's, and category B's, all right? So as an end consumer, this is everything that I need to do. As you notice, this is very, very streamlined. However, there is one, important information i cannot spend too much time buying the tickets especially if it's a very high traffic event so in my case i have five more tickets to uh, confirm the purchase and finalize my payment so i'm taken to the continue section and this is where i can see my booking information now what we do here is we expand uh the ticketing uh, purchase timing a little bit just to give them enough time to pay for their purchase all right so once i fill in all of the information i'm getting issued my qr code tickets but how does this look on mobile because a lot of our purchases are going to happen on mobile let's just pause a little bit and have a look at mobile map ticketing options all right, so we're back. And now we wanna have a look at how does the booking option look on mobile. So in this case, I have another interface where I can see other type of tickets from another um, event organizer. And in this case, I see that my display on mobile is slightly different. While I have the same option of applying codes and I have different kind of categories, I have this choose seats option. Once I press it, there's a full overview of the actual seating map. 
in this case it's a slightly uh, different kind of design and we can see that there's all sorts of available tickets in some cases some of them are already purchased um, we have some additional information we have uh, the main sectors different kind of ticket tires and I'm just gonna select three types of tickets once I press continue which is really easy to do on mobile on this kind of interface I see that my tickets are selected and I can press continue and purchase the, the tickets all right so now circling back to my initial purchase I have already purchased four tickets on my stadium visit and I can see them in my order profile you as the event organizer or the venue manager you can actually see a full end-to-end -end information regarding what uh, what the order was like right so in this case there's Mike who has purchased four tickets and they have a 25% uh, discount uh, you can see their tickets so for example if they lose them you can actually resend it back to them and the tickets themselves can be branded in my case it's a pretty simple one I, I have my QR code I can print it and I can show it at the entrance or I can store it on my phone either as a photo or as an Apple Pass or Google Pass option in my ticket you can see that i have the full information regarding the event that i'm attending the location the seating uh the ticket type and obviously who has purchased the ticket all right so i have everything that i need to attend the event by the way i can also share the information with people that i'm going with so for example if i'm going together with my family or my friends i can actually share the tickets with them and they will have the exact information or on where they should be uh, sitting and they can show the QR code at the entrance. All right, so let's have a look in the back end how you can actually use Ovid to set up your own venues uh, with custom seating map designs and additional options in terms of creating the perfect seating map. All right, so we're back in the dashboard in the dashboard we can see that under seating charts i have created a stadium seating map and i have several options here so for example i can duplicate it in some cases i might have the same seating map but with slightly quick uh, adjustments or i can delete it but in my case i can actually want i, I actually want to design some additional options within my venue all right, so let's have a look at it. We have the actual stadium and a lot of options, uh, a lot of options that you can use to create your perfect seating map design. We have an overview of the stadium chart. We have four categories here. Uh, you can see them right here. They're the ones that you've actually uh, seen in the purchase option. Uh, we have more than 4,000 tickets and by the way it can go a lot higher and we have a confirmation that there's no duplicates uh, all of the options are labeled uh, there's one category per object type so everything is smooth we have some additional information regarding the reference chart so basically this is an existing floor plan uh, so you can use to draw on top of it. It's quite useful, uh, especially if it's your first design. You can add backgrounds, just so you can match it uh, to your own brand. And then we have the creation and editing options. So for example, I can select seats tool. Uh, let's just select some seats. And once I select them, I can actually create all sorts of things with, uh, with them. Uh, we have options to change the category, display uh, the seed labeling in a different kind of manner. Uh, and I can actually upload a certain view from those seeds so you can give your guests an idea of what they should be expecting all, when they're watching the big game. Then we have some additional options in terms of selecting a more wider area so i can actually select pretty randomly some tickets uh, you're probably not going to do that uh, then we have the option to select uh, the same kind of seats so in my case i've selected this kind of seats i can see 
uh, we have uh, selected just seats, or in this case, just exits and additional symbols, or I can just select things one by one. Then we have the option to create additional sections in our map. This is a bit more advanced, and we'd love to help you if there's some things that you might be missing when setting up your perfect event venue. All right, so we actually have a focal point. This is basically the, per, uh, the section where we should be zooming in the core part of our map. Then we have the row tools. We can create additional rows. If you're hosting something like a gala dinner, we have the round table option. Uh, we have the booth option. So for example, if you're selling um, booths at an exhibition, uh, you can actually create this kind of options. And then we have some additional um, area options that can create more, uh, more graphics on the seating map. Okay, you can add images, icons, and so on and so forth. The seating designer is very powerful and combined with Ovid's ticketing and payment processing options can create the perfect experience for you at an amazing, um, with an amazing interface and ease of use. Let's have a look at the actual event setup now and a few things about the tickets. All right, so let's have a peek behind the curtains. This is where we set up uh, the ticketing and details for your upcoming sports events. You can set up the dates, you can add descriptions, you can add media uh, to the landing page. And by the way, the seating maps and the seating reservations can be completely embedded in your website to match your website experience. You have the option to uh, add multiple tickets. In our case, we have tickets uh, related to the ones that you've seen earlier. You can actually brand them with your own cover photos and logos, and you can create all sorts of options in terms of add-ons, things you can add on top of the tickets. Um, in my case, I haven't purchased one of the add-on carrying tickets, but you can read more about them on obit.com. Basically, these are things you can add on top of the ticket and there's a great option of upselling uh, the ticket purchases by using the same tool underneath uh, the ticketing options you can actually see some very important and useful sectors uh, especially for the seating maps you can preview the seats you can manage them and you can add category options i'm just going to focus on one particular ticket in my case it's the vip uh, the ticket has a category attached to it. Uh, it's the category VIP. It has a price and some additional options. So you can add the descriptions. You can make the ticket public or private. Uh, you can set up a sale period. So if you have like early birds, you can actually select those. Uh, you can select a certain number of tickets that can be purchased by a single uh, individual. Um, and you can add what I called fan uh, add-ons in my case. As a VIP purchase, I get a fan t-shirt and I can also pre-purchase uh, food and beverages at a price of $49. Once everything is ready and saved, uh, you can he head over to preview and publish and hit the publish section. In my case, I've already added um, everything that I needed to and I have published the event. So in a nutshell, this is a very, very simple way of purchasing and selling tickets <clears throat> in a seated map environment, such as a sporting event, uh, a stadium, a concert, and so on and so forth. Thank you very much for watching and do contact us at ovit, o -V -E -I -T dot com if you want to know more details about Ovid and our seated designer.